Well, hello friends, Mark Holmes here, and as always, thank you guys for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Bruce Sports Report. Without you guys, this literally does not work. It is pouring down rain out here, and this is probably the remnants of the storm, that, uh, that polar vortex, that, that hell freezing over in Texas has made it up here. And this is where, this is like, you know, if you watch Star Trek, there was that one episode, Mirror, Mirror, where they went to the alternate universe where everything was backwards. You know, Spock had the beard and goatee and he was evil and stuff, you know, and, and they had everything was backwards. Well, this is backwards because it's about 38 degrees out here at night and it's pouring down rain. Texas is like 10 degrees and like snow in El Paso. It's, it's just crazy. So I'm actually underneath this. My deck is actually up here. Um, you know, this is my outdoor studio, and I put uh, corrugated panels up under the deck, and I've got a gutter up here, so it's dry here, it's wet over there. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to reconfigure uh, the, my railings up top this spring, and I'm going to get one of those crank-out canopies, so that way the canopy will be able to go out over there, and that way, uh, come football season, I won't have to be ghetto and put a tarp on here. You know, that's one of those things I want to do to try and improve my situation and and my game day experience and get a couple of those outdoor heaters but anyway i did something stupid today because i fell into the trap of the trolls and the haters um i was pulling up the cowboys versus washington week number 17 in 2012 i think it was against rg3 because i i i, I did i shouldn't have i shouldn't have but I fell into the trap and I was like, okay, you know, you guys keep talking about Dak Prescott, what has he done and everything else to deserve to get paid. And I'm sitting here going through and I'm thinking about this game. I'm thinking about, and I'm not trying to trash Tony Romo, but I'm sitting here thinking about how we went eight and eight and we lost, I think, to the Giants the last game of the season and ended up missing the playoffs. Then the next year we lose to the Washington football team and Tony Romo throws three interceptions, but yet he got paid in the off or I think he got paid in that off season, or was it the year after, or was it three eight and eight years? Because I, I'm, I'm just trying to, I'm not trying to belittle Tony Romo. I'm trying to make these arguments that people say, well, you know, last year the Cowboys, you know, uh, were, were terrible, you know. They were 8-8 eight and eight last year. It's like, well, Tony Romo was, I think, two years 8-8 eight and eight and still got paid. Well, Dak Prescott was hurt, hurt. Well, you know, Demarcus Lawrence still hadn't had labrum surgery, had already had a back surgery, and he got paid. And this thing is really ridiculous because had you paid him a couple years ago, we wouldn't be paying him 30, 40 million, I mean, excuse me, 40 million dollars. We've been paying him 30. This is a mistake that the Cowboys made that cost them $50 million in the same way that keeping Tyron Smith on for two more years when he was already past his time cost them $20 million. The <clears throat> same mistake they make with, with paying Zeke Elliott $90 million for a running back. They keep making mistake after mistake after mistake, but the one position that you must have where you see all these teams that are going around and trying to get a quarterback is you have one that is doing things. And what really gets me and pisses me off is when I see people like Dan Orlovsky that are literally making shit up. The fact that he said that Dak Prescott, you know, they scored 27 points with him the year before and this year without him, they scored 25. That's wrong. That's wrong. That is a flat out lie. The Dallas Cowboys averaged 25 points a game with the games that Dak Prescott played in. The Cowboys were averaging 32.6 points a game with Dak Prescott this year. Without Dak Prescott, they averaged 21. 11 point swing so when he goes on television and tells you oh well you know they only missed two points a game without Dak is out and out lies and yet he still gets paid to be on television I, it, it drives me crazy and that's why I'm always here pounding my chest trying to point out and saying hello this is bullshit you're being fed because that's what it is 
And my man Derek goes, you know, Mark, uh, he's like, I I'm just tired. I know we're all tired of it. We've got Dak fatigue. I know we're all tired of it. He's like, can't you talk about something else? It's like, yes, I would if the Dallas Cowboys didn't have the worst quarterback situation currently in the NFL. And we do. There is nobody in the NFL right now with a worse quarterback situation as we stand right here today. The only person we have under contract for the Dallas Cowboys at quarterback is Ben DiNucci, who rated out at 59th this year, the worst graded quarterback in the NFL. Now, as bad as we think about the Washington football team, they got Kyle Allen, they got Heineke. And, if they, and, and actually, Alex Smith, that actually looks better than us. Right now, they got Carson Wentz, Jalen Hurts in Philadelphia. Right now, that looks better than what we got. You could even go to New York and say, well, they got Daniel Jones and, um, uh, damn, what's the other guy who used to play with Washington? I can't remember. But they got a better situation than the Dallas Cowboys do right now. And until we do something, sign somebody, Dak Prescott, draft somebody, or, or sign a free agent or make a trade for Russell Wilson, which is another one of those things that's kind of pissed me off that you got guys saying, well, you know, I've heard a lot of people talking about Russell. Yeah, because you're the one talking about it, Mike. You're the one that's talking about it, Mike Farello. You're the one making that shit up. Russell Wilson is not getting traded to the Dallas Cowboys. The Dallas Cowboys won't pay top-line free agents. Do you think that they're going to give up draft capital now to try and go get Russell Wilson or Deshaun Watson? No. The Dallas Cowboys, unfortunately, are their own worst enemy. The reason the Dallas Cowboys have the problems they have are because of mismanagement. You've had opportunities. You've had players that are here, and you've not evaluated guys like Anthony Hitchens. Oh, we don't need him. But then you turn around and you pay Jalen Smith after one good season. And then you waste money on guys, uh, bottom feeder free agents. The reason the Cowboys aren't winning isn't because of that. That's the only reason why we've won as much as we have over the last four years. It's because of Dak Prescott. You don't remember 2015 when Tabromo went down and they won one freaking game? You don't remember seeing the mismatches of quarterbacks that we had in here? Oh, I know. Oh, well, Andy Dalton, man, he was a stud. Yeah, I guess the Cincinnati Bengals. Yeah, I guess the 49ers. Yeah, I guess the New York Giants. How would he do against the Seattle Seahawks? How would he do against uh, uh, the New Orleans Saints? Come on, man. Let's get real. Let's get real on this shit. You guys, you got to stop listening to that garbage out there, man. I get so worked up, man. I just hope that I didn't screw myself with showing. I, I was showing that game because I was like, I remember that game because I think Romo had like 150 yards or 200 yards and three interceptions. And it was like, oh, oh, here we go. Oh, it's an, oh, Tony O knows. And, and, and I remember that game. And they'll say, well, Dak, you know, he, you know, he sucked. Well, against Aaron Rodgers. Aaron Rodgers, in his rookie year, with uh, you know when Dak Prescott played him, Aaron Rodgers it took a miracle play from him, 355 yards because Dak threw three touchdown passes in that game, three touchdown passes, one interception, 304 yards, more yards than any Tony Romo playoff game, more touchdown passes than Teddy Ro Tony Romo game, and yet you got oh Dak sucks, we lost to the Dak. Oh, my God. Somebody had the nerve to freaking say, oh, well, you know, that was garbage yards because the, you know, the, the Cowboys were down against uh, the, the, the Green Bay in that game. Oh, my God. The hate that you guys have. Oh, my God. If I can get up, my knees are killing me. Mm. Get this fire out. I'm going to get out of here. As always... I want to thank you guys for being here. Oh, my knees are killing me. <sighs> Sucks getting old. At least the fire works in the rain. Woo! I'll see you guys in the morning. Peace out.